Thanks for everyone's patience. Yeah, apologies, guys. We just. Liz Kiss, Queensland coach, and Tate McDermott. Well. Sorry, I didn't hear. I, I, I think it was just a, an occasion to be able to recognise uh, Alex Hodgman, uh, his first cap. Um, obviously, we've got the spoils, so we had a song. Um, but there's a lot of families in there as well. You know, the sacrifices they make is massive, and we understand that. But it was probably just a, a, a good move because there's been a lot of, a lot of hard graft over the last six months, and in, in particular the last three months, four months just before Christmas when, when, when the boys joined us and uh, into this period. So it was just a moment of reflection, really, and, and, and uh, the boys should be happy. Uh, I'm happy. Uh, however, uh, there was a number of times the coaching box had a few flutters, I can guarantee you. So we, we just need to stay real. Uh, it's just one game. That's all it is. Yeah, yeah, there was. Um, you know, we, we just wanted to make sure the guys stayed direct when we needed to. Um, make sure that we play it. Uh, I'm going to be careful how I say this, but we, we play it in the right places of the pitch. Um, but if the boys feel it's OK to play, that they, they have a chance to go and play. So it's a really delicate way that we understand how are we feeling good. We can play with the ball a bit more uh, when we need to push it down and do to the corners or whatever. We, uh, we can we can do that. Um, just like, you know, uh, Geordie's kick that we planned all week. And he just, you know, <laughs> that was amazing, wasn't it? But anyway. But look, it, it, there was many things in the game. They came back at us a few times, so a few things we have to look at that there. The, the return back to the short side, they, they, they got a bit of space at times. Um, our, I think we had 14 turnovers compared to their nine. Um, you know, we're going to have to improve that area and make sure we understand... That, that possession pressure that we can apply is reliant on managing the ball control. Um, but, you know, there are things we can look at and, and improve on for sure. But overall, I think we managed, managed the right times of the game to get the points that we needed to stay in that space that we felt confident enough that we can, we can keep edging away on, on the scoreboard. Well, yeah, it was good. Um, possibly, you know, that's the, that's this is the hardest thing when you say, you know, when he run it when he possibly should have kicked it, and um, but then he goes and backs himself. It's it's a hard one to try to explain and, and and get right. But I guess we've all all agreed that if we are to play that way, we 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 will always go back to good safety nets. You know, getting good quality defence in play, get our set piece right. You know, the things that allow you to try to expand how you can play this game and have that mindset about ourselves but but we you know we probably push it a bit too much at times particularly with the conditions but but we will get better at understanding how that works for ourselves and each other we, we're a bit clunky tonight it'll take us a little while to get going but it was uh it was a good win still i won't hide from that but we you know it's just one game I think I think that's for everyone. I mean, and, and Geordie, and if it's Jock from the backfield coming forward, they've got to be able to assess those moments for sure. Uh, those things will always be, you know, eyes up, heads up. What's the picture? What's the scoreboard? What's the what's the mode at this stage? Are we do we feel confident? All those things come into play. But I guess if we say don't do it, then we'd have to find out how we can push it to where we need to. Um, I know it can be dangerous and it'll probably hurt us sometimes. Um, but I'm prepared to live in that space. Yeah, it felt awesome to be back at Suncorp. Um, you know, the boys are really excited all week uh, back in front of our home fans. Um, and yeah, like you said, there's there's a confidence growing amongst this group. Um, but like Les is saying, we, we've got to be realistic with, with where we're at. Um, and particularly around the turnovers, we've got to be a hell of a lot better. Given that we've got a, one of the top Kiwi teams in the in the Hurricanes next week in Melbourne, um, so an eight-day turnaround gives us plenty of time to reflect on kind of those little tinkers we've got to have. But in, in saying that, I'm really proud of the effort of that group. 
Um, three tries, we'll, we'll look back on on those scenes, but the defence of the of the fellas, particularly late when they were grafting away at our trial line, um, is something that, that I think all Queensland fans can be really proud of. Um, and like we said, it's, it's just a start. Yeah, I think it was always um, little moments that, that changed those games. Um, and obviously that, that did, but we didn't score points when he was off the field. Um, so, I mean, yeah. I think we, we had our finger on the pulse quite a bit. Sometimes we capitalised, sometimes we didn't throughout the whole game. Um, but I thought the game management, particularly from Tom Liner, was really impressive in the start. Um, his kicking game, the, the distance on his kicking game, um, given the conditions, it was was massive. Um, so you can be pretty proud of how he steered the team around. In the defence of the whole as well, had Dante Prickett's steep three tries. You sort of all came from errors, really. It wasn't so much work for you guys. So how did you sort of find defences feeling out there? Yeah, good, good. Um, but we've got a whole different threat coming at us next week. Um, so the Tars were good. They, they cut us up out wide three times. Uh, one was an intercept. The other one, Geordie, lost his feet. Um, and that third one was just, uh, we just got to be better there. But uh, watching the Canes last night, um, they're a well-drilled team. They're well-coached uh, and they've got good players. So uh, we're going we're gonna to have to look at how we can continue to d grow and develop as players. You mentioned being back in front of your home fans. Were you happy with the turnout? Had tonight, obviously there was a big call. The field Caxton Street, and obviously weather plays a bit of a role. But are you happy with what you saw out there? I'm always happy when we're at Suncorp. Um, you know, it was raining tonight, and we still had you know our highest crowd figures from last year, even I think. Um, you know, so to the 14 and a half or whatever it was that showed up tonight. Um, you know, we love having you at Suncorp, and we can't wait to uh, have you back against the Chiefs in a, in a couple of weeks' time. Yeah, we've, we've put a lot of work into that. You know, Zane and, and Fish have been unbelievable in how they're prepping that set piece for ourselves. Um, uh, and, and importantly, when we do get leverage in it, connecting it to the rest of our game, whether it's another defensive set or an attacking set, but we, we turned a few over, didn't we? I, I thought Zane Nonga had a, a very good game, um, really locked that scrum away. So, uh, you know, some really strong moments of forward play when they you know, got through and, and, and got some little offloads going forward. Um, so I thought general forward play was pretty good across the park. Um, and it, as I said before, our safety nets are a good set piece in our defence. And I thought those things aimed up at the right times for us to be able to capitalise on the opportunities that we did create. Yeah, I, I think the more we get to know each other through the, the you know, the real coal face of, of, of the competition now, game on game, you know, points at stake. Uh, those moments are important to, to read on the pitch rather than throwing that information from outside in. Um, it still gives a flutter, you know what I mean? Because, you know, that three points pushes out of the extra score. But there is, you know, that, that sweet spot we're trying to hit where we can, you know, find that confidence to go for things and, and see see where that lands in the end. You know, no doubt it's going to hurt us every now and then, but it's better finding out where, how we can deal with those things. But I, you know, with Tate and Liam, uh, full confidence in terms of how they're seeing it and feeling out there. No, Fluky's just got a, 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 a neural hamstring thing, that's all. So we... Um, we just wanted to make sure we, we managed that. Uh, I thought Kalani went on and did a good job, didn't he, on the wing? He, he went really well. So uh, uh, that, that, that nothing major there at all. So. Uh, Tony, how was the uh, how on the second Yeah, I thought he was strong. Um, what we're seeing from Hunter, he's, he's always had a good ball carry um, and he's full of confidence at the moment. Um, but the, the one thing I've been really impressed, particularly having a younger guy in Tommy Liner at 10 is the way that he steered the team around the park. Um, so his voice is something he's worked really hard on. Um, and yeah, he's really shaping up to be an incredibly valued part of this team. Um, what do you want to see out of the boys for next week? Do you, do you clash with the Kings or anything? Or 
Well, we're going to two New Zealand teams, and uh, first up is Canes, who were impressive. Uh, you know, if we get 40 in turnovers, that you know, half of those are going to be hurting us. So we just need to be, you know, cognizant of what danger we do have there. So, um, you know, I, I, you know, I won't try and pre predict how we'll build this plan. We've got an idea. The coaches have met. Um, we'll look at our game, uh, try and pick up the things that we know that we can keep growing and building. Um, you know, in terms of of our face play. Uh, and all those sort of things. However, we just need to be a little bit more um, aware of what a turnover can do to you. And and if you haven't got it right, and today it costs us a few times of a turnover than a 50-22 and it puts us under pressure and all those things. So we just need to be aware that that, um, that, that when I ask the guys, you know, to back your skill and be skillful, it's just about making that decisions that doesn't open up too much. Because if we give... If we give too many to this team, Canes, on the weekend, it, it, it could be dangerous. I'm not saying it will be, but it could be. And uh, we'll have to find the best in ourselves if we're going to get 40 in turnovers next week. I'll take Matt off to the back row for sure. The, their work rate, you know, whether you call it dominance or not, I, I, would, I would just call it, it was just their effective, accurate work rate throughout that whole game was unbelievable where there was moments there when I know Johnny Bryant came on late but they just seemed to be in sync they just seemed to be right into that physical space and and uh, didn't seem to be flagging at all I, I thought there was a collective beautiful energetic effort by the back row uh, for sure okay thank you guys thanks Tate